Hi, and welcome to Simple Spirituality PH. So for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Regine. I am an intuitive tarot reader. I'm a Reiki healer and an overall light worker. Now, before we dive into today's episode, which is a quick flip through of the crazy sexy love notes by Chris Carr and Lori Portka, I would like to invite everyone who would like to receive notifications of my new videos to please hit the subscribe button below. If you like this video later on, hit the thumbs up. If you have any comments or suggestions you want to say hey, just comment down below. And if you would like your very own tarot reading or Reiki healing session with me online for now, of course, here are the details. Now let's get to the meat of the video. Now I am so excited because I actually ordered this deck in February and because of the lockdown I only received it now and it's already June but nevertheless it arrived to me in one piece and it's beautiful so these are the sides I actually have not heard of this um, deck but the moment I saw it I knew I had to have it so that's this is what the back looks like so it is a deck of 52 powerful reminders to love and appreciate yourself from the inside out now it's funny because I was so excited I did a I did an unboxing video earlier of this but uh, for some reason I wasn't able to save it so they aren't it this really isn't a, an unboxing it's just a flip through now so that's what it looks like outside and it, it's a beautiful canary type of yellow inside the box and all the cards were held together by this um, strap this paper strap so I took that off and when you look inside you do have this Okay, so this is from Hay House, the publisher's Hay House. And over here at the top, you get a message from, of course, Chris Carr and Lori Portka. And there they are. Thank you, girls, for making this deck. I've flipped through it once. <laughs> it's beautiful. So without further ado, here it is. The Crazy Sexy Love Notes by Chris Carr. So as you can see, they do have little messages at the back. Now this deck doesn't come with its own booklet, so suffice it to say that this portion is, it pretty much acts like its booklet. So that, that, that's a cool thing about it. At least you, won't have, you don't have another separate kind of thing to worry about when it comes to this deck. That's beautiful. So like I said, this this deck I've shuffled once <laughs> because I did an unboxing and yeah, I did, wasn't able to save it. So this isn't in order. But as you can see, the colors are really vivid and beautiful. And the first impression for me was basically that it was very youthful. The energy of it is very youthful and it's very positive. A lot of cards sometimes, or a lot of decks, sometimes are in your face, and when they convey messages, they're actually, it, it, it hurts sometimes, especially if you're in a kind of place where you're really feeling the negativity. So these kinds of cards, the messages that these cards have are all very positive. They lean towards the happier, more positive, more progressive sort of spectrum. And the wording, the use, um, the words that they use here in the card, they are very friendly, very, still very in your face, but very digestible and very light, so to speak. And I just love the artwork on this as well. Because as you can see, they're very vibrant colors are very vibrant it's certainly a very colorful deck and you really want that when you're going for self-love and self-care and um, empowerment and appreciation you want the pictures to really accompany the message that you're going for so this deck nailed it in that accord and I do enjoy also that it's not just solely people 
it's not just solely um, what do you call this? Not just solely plants. It's not just solely animals. It's a mix of all kinds of of illustrations. I mean, these are fruits. So there's a lot of diversity going on in here in terms of what the subject matter of the cards are. And there's a lot of variety when it comes to um, that as well. And even the messages have a variety. So some are actually directly for you. Oh, that's a cute one. And others are like this, which is more for a general kind of um, reading. And we're almost nearing the end. And that's it. So if you guys will notice, even the back portion is very vivid. So they didn't scrimp on the back portion, which I really, really enjoy because as you can see, it's continuous from the front, like this one, for example, little bird. <laughs> It's continuous. The fields continue all the way up to the back portion, which I really do enjoy, which really gives you a sense of cohesiveness from the front to the back, which is very rare for a lot of cards because a lot of times uh, when it comes to tarot cards or even oracle decks, we tend to go for the ones which are reversible because a lot of tarot readers do read reverses. And I do too, I read reverses. So there's a lot of discontinuity because we need to have that kind of um, unbiased background. But this one, it just goes through and through. It has a cohesiveness. It does carry over to the back portion. And what's cool about this is that it, feel, it actually feels like, if you look at it, it feels like, it looks like there's a film on top of it. So the finish isn't entirely matte as you can see. There's still a little bit of gloss in there. There's still a little bit of shine in there, but it is not completely glossy. So it has a really good feel to it. The cards themselves have a good feel to them and they shuffle very nicely. One thing I will say though is that I think that it might, the, the film or the coating, the top, that whatever's on top of each card, it may experience wear and tear if you become very rough with it. Um, and the edges as well, because I feel like they are kind of curved towards the back. So you might get a little bit of um, edge problems here if you're too rough with these cards, but they are very strong. So that's how they kind of bend and fold. It's not easy to fold them actually. There's, there's quite a bit of resistance in the center. So they do hold their own. So I would say that these cards are actually extremely good if you if you are <laughs> if you are reading in a hurry. Let's say for example you're reading for yourself and you just want like a card of the day to set you off to kind of give off the theme for the day for yourself. This is a very good um, deck to have because of course you already have this message out right here. You have the illustration as well and you have the extra card message at the back. And it also works if you're doing um, fast reading for other people as well. If you feel like you're going to be taking on a lot of clients and you don't want to really um, be so, uh, you don't want to have to work too hard to read into the card. That's it. This is a good option as well. And it's just so joyful. The, uh, the, the upright energy of these cards are very joyful. There's no hint of um, sadness or negativity or even the dark ones like this one, for example. It's very joyful. It's very peaceful. It's very uh, soft, so to speak, and very light, literally and figuratively. So again, we're almost near the end. And I just love these 
amazing vibrant colors they're actually more vibrant in real life when you see them uh, in the flesh I actually kind of think that my camera isn't doing that much justice to it but it is a beautiful deck so yeah you will be seeing me <laughs> using these cards more often because they are beautiful to have and they're beautiful to look at they're a masterpiece and that's basically it so that was the crazy sexy love notes flip through but uh made by Chris Carr and Lori Portka. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you would like to receive notifications of my new videos, please hit the subscribe button below. If you would like your very own tarot reading or Reiki healing session with me online for now, here are the details. And I will see you guys next time. Stay happy, stay healthy, and ciao for now.